God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, November 25th. Like yesterday, today's devotional is based on Psalm 70. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, Aha! Aha! Turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O God, do not delay. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Haywood Spangler. Churchgoers can probably supply a parallel from their own lives for each of the psalmist's laments. However, popular culture today discourages individuals from voicing either personal grief or outrage at social injustices. At work, churchgoers hear about the value of being a team player. As evinced by media presentations of tragic events such as school shootings, popular culture asserts that achieving closure and moving on with life should be quick and that extensive reflection on negative experiences is somehow unhealthy. Psalm 70 suggests that faithful people may legitimately speak up for themselves, perhaps against the team, and may voice grief over death and catastrophe, frustration at hypocrisy, and outrage over injustice. And Spangler leaves us with a couple of questions today. What arouses your anger? How do you use that anger for good? Let us pray. Kindle within me a fiery spirit that engages my actions and words for your service. Amen. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask.